It's been a while since you could run .exe files on a Mac, and it's also kind of been a while since I uploaded a video. So I think it would be fitting to make a video on just that, on how you guys can run .exe files on Macs. So if you want to use your Windows application with your .exe files on your Mac, you're going to need to use um, either Wine or Wine Butler. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to download both of them and then the differences between the two. First things first, so you're going to go to this website called winebutler.cronenberg.org, I'll leave the link down below, and you'll be met with these two download options, Wine Butler 2.0 Development or Wine Butler 1.8.6 Stable. The only difference is that one is stable, one is not. So the development one might crash and have a few bugs. So I just took the stable version, you download that, and then you get this little DMG here, the Wine Butler Combo DMG. You download that, you, you open it up, and then you install both of the applications, and then you get Wine Butler and Wine. So I'm gonna explain the differences between Wine Butler and Wine now, so you know what you wanna use, it's completely up to you. And they kind of do end up doing the same thing, letting you run a .exe app on Mac, but just in a few different ways. So if we open up Wine Butler here, um, should open up in a second. There we go. And you'll be you'll be you'll be met with this kind of uh, this front page, right? Which gives you a bunch of different options to download different apps like 3D Mark, you know, like 7-Zip or um, Microsoft Media Player, and you can just download these classic um, Windows apps that are already kind of pre-done, and then run them as Mac OS apps. And the way this works is that. Um, Wine Butler, what it does is that it takes a, a .exe application, so an executable Windows app, and then packages it in a certain way so that it actually kind of is packaged inside a Mac OS app so you can just run it on your app on your Mac without really having to do anything or run it through any different programs. So yeah, these are already kind of some presets, some applications that have already been converted, you know, SketchUp, you know, your, your classic Windows stuff like Internet Explorer because Everybody wants Internet Explorer on their computers. I mean, damn. Anyways, so the other part of Wine Bottler is this advanced tab right here. And basically, it's just a yellow page with a bunch of different stuff you can fill in. But basically, you fill out this page and you'll be able to turn a .exe application into a Mac application. It's kind of complicated to do it through this, but now I'm going to show you how you can do that through. Wine. So Wine works a little bit differently. So you open up Wine like this, you just click it up and nothing really happens. It'll just show you that it's running. And you don't have to actually open Wine when you want to run a .exe file. What you actually do is you go to here to Finder, you find your .exe file. So like if you want to play some Sonic, you know, Sonic.exe, um, you open that up with Wine, go like this, boom. Wine and you'll be met with this dialog and basically it's asking if you want to run it directly So what that means is that it will be running the .exe file through Wine And then you'll be able to actually run it on your computer or you can convert to a simple OS 10 application Now if you click on the second option that will take you to that Wine Butler page the yellow one And then we'll have all the stuff filled out and you just click like apply and create and then it'll kind of just make that um, Mac OS application so let's just see here you know you run it directly look at go they take a little bit longer to load when they're going through wine but it's all fine it'll just take a second or two and then boom there you go Sonic So that's basically it. That's how you run .exe Windows applications on a Mac. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. If you did, you can leave that like down below. And if you thought this video was trash, well, you know, that button works too. If you really liked it, want to see more content like this, you can click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when I upload another video. That's about it for today. So see you guys. I'm out.